Okay, so this is probably going to be the most simplest and the most easiest way you're ever going to understand voltage, current, and resistance, right? So it's particularly easy to think about these things in terms of water, right? So let's discuss current first of all. Now, current can be thought of as the flow of water. Suppose you have this pipe system, right? And the water flowing through those pipes basically symbolizes current. The water is actually the electrons, and you can have that water flowing faster. This could be going really fast, or this could be going really, really slow, right? And that's what current is. The electrons could be flowing faster means a higher current, or the electrons can be flowing slower means a lower current, right? But there's a problem. You can't really make water flow just like that. You really need some driving force. And that there comes in the concept of voltage. Voltage can be thought of as a pump. It's this driving force that's actually making water flow through the whole pipes, right? You need something to be pushing water around for there to be a flow of water, right? So here comes the most fundamental and the most important statement of the Ohm's law, right? And what's the Ohm's law? The Ohm's law states that voltage is directly proportional to current, that the higher power of the water pump you have, the more water would be flowing per unit time, right? If I have a higher power pump, there's obviously going to be more current flowing. And if I have a low power pump, obviously it's going to push water at a lesser speed throughout the whole system, right? But there is a limiting factor here. And that limiting factor is this, the resistance, right? Now, suppose we think of resistance as this constriction in the pipe, this narrow area in the pipe, which can only allow so much water to pass through. Now, suddenly, the voltage really does not matter, right? You can have a high power, a really high power pump, but if you have a big enough resistance, you can always, always, always limit the current going through because the resistance is only going to allow so much water to flow, right? So yes, the voltage is directly proportional to current, but if I remove the proportionality sign, I will have to introduce the constant and that is basically resistance. Yes, voltage is directly proportional to current, but that only depends on the resistance, if the resistance is constant. And so you get this famous formula for Ohm's law, V equals to IR. That's it for this video, and I'll be meeting you on our next video on this topic.